All right. So this is uh, is this also best of three? Yes, it is. Okay. It's two best of three. If Golda can take this, Golda th drone might have thrown the game. I don't know, but that was that was a weird one. I don't think drone threw the game. I think drone <laughs> was really trying hard. That wasn't sandbagging, but in drone's part. Uh, does does drone know that there's another finals going on? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so it looks like there was no map pick for the second finals, so Drone can pick. This is going to be tricky, though, because I think Drone... What would they pick? Comet Catchers comes to mind as a possibility. I know it was played in one of the earlier games I didn't cast. It's definitely one that seems like it would be Drone's map. But then it's also a map that's so commonly played that it might be one that Golda just knows too well. Mm. That's the thing, is like Drone probably knows they're pretty good with macro compared to my compared to micro compared to Golda. But they also know that Golda knows the game really well and just might go, well, you know what? Any map I pick is a map that Drone knows or whoa. Cooper Hill. Wow. So it looks like Drone is trying to do what Google Frog tried to do. Hm. Interesting. Okay, so we are on Cooper Hill for game one of Drone versus Google Frog. I mean, Drone versus Golda. Sorry, Google Frog. Didn't mean to make you get your hopes up somehow. <laughs> so this okay. is probably going to be cheese, I'm guessing. I was just going to ask you, your drone, you just went 0-2 against Golda. Why are you choosing Cooper Hill except to cheese him? Right? There's it no other reason. To, I, I can't imagine anything else is going to happen here, but she's shield bot factory. Shield bot factory? Interesting. Is he gonna go for a dirtbag cutoff? Not really a cheese factory. He might be going for a long game. What? They might do the same thing that Google Frog did and thinking that maybe yeah. they can do it better. Constructor rush, then it fell in after. Exactly. Opening with a bandit. But yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Cause that what? Okay, there's convicts. Alright, that that fits the theory. Golda, of course, going for the Freakers, going for the Reclaim. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. So this is basically the same as Altair Crossing, except yeah. less vehicle pathable. Actually, less <laughs> bot pathable, too. There's, there's areas of this map that you can't path with. Where's the... Yeah, there's a lot of areas that you cannot get through with bots. Oh, really? I didn't barely realize that. get through. Yeah, there's actually parts of the hill at the top you can't get mm -hmm. through with bots. Weird. It's small parts, but as soon as damage starts getting dealt... You end up having unpathable regions where you don't oh, expect yeah. them. Oh, I can see them. Yeah, there's just a couple. Wow, really surprising. Yeah, I don't know what the the hill in this map is just weird. Hmm. Yeah, the hill is just such a weird feature. It's kind of cool looking though. I mean, the trees and everything—it looks pretty. Mm hmm. Despite the lack of SSMF, although admittedly like, grass isn't really a specular material, so that that's more forgivable. Regardless, art aside, Golda. Getting stable economy this time. Getting a stable energy economy this time. Unlike when they were playing as Google Frog. <laughs> Although this map does not really support that sort of... Right. That, yeah. that kind of... Devil May Care attitude towards your energy economy. Mm. And you get a fair amount of energy reclaim, but it's... I guess because the trees are smaller? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's sparser as well. It does feel sparser, but there's still 1,300 energy inside your base. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the slugs. Thugs. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So Thuglaw Felon, maybe? Maybe he's just straight Thuglaw. Could be. Thuglaw Con? Against that's jump a, bots, though. That's going to be... Combo. Actually, oh, that's going to yeah. be really good. Hmm. I feel well, like you would need a Felon for jump well, bots. A Felon doesn't work especially well against jump bots because of Sumo and Jack. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was thinking against their more traditional early mid-game composition. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, it took me four, four and a half hours before I made that mistake of not showing the tournament game as it was going on. Oh, and I happened oh. to look at the chat and it's like, Shadow Fury, let us see what's going on, please, the grand thank finals. you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch, guys. Hey, that's I'm not sorry. bad, though. Four and a half hours? Don't, don't feel bad about that one, man. I know, it's but it's the grand. Usually it happens in the first or second series. And <laughs> yeah. who watches the first or second series? Everyone watches the finals. But thankfully, nothing really happened. Yep. So we can go over very briefly what happened. We have Jumpbot and some Reclaim, but mostly Stable Energy Economy. 
Golden knows they're being cheesed and are setting up a defense against it. Drone, on the other hand, going for more of a traditional setup with Thug Law and a few bandits, but really, they're I think they're trying to mind game Golda by not going that cheesy. This is definitely an aggressive Thug Law. Don't though. worry, viewers, you haven't missed anything. There actually hasn't had, and nothing's happened yet. Everything just heating up just, right now. Yeah, this is. Thankfully, I managed to show you what's going on at the right time. <laughs> Although, yeah, Golda is... Oh, they're... I don't know, they have no easy way of getting out of this, but it looks like... Thugs and Bandits. Bandits on one side, Thugs on the other. So, Drone hmm. is putting Golda on the back foot as much as they can. Just going for, like, a contain here, it looks like. He doesn't really have a way in, but he doesn't really need to get in either. If he can just keep Golda packed in here and then macro, as he uh, often does, then could see a steamroller-type situation. Well, that's... I'm pretty sure what Golda needs to do. Right. That's what Golden knows will work. It's worked before. Sure. So they're trying to engineer the situation. It's just curious that they engineered it on a tiny map. I suppose because getting a contain is that much easier. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need to show off economy. Because this map has so many different values of mexes that you kind of need to know. Oh yeah. So are those the good mexes or the bad mexes? Well, all the good mexes are taken except the north and south. So everything else is the bad mexes. Wow. Okay, so we have... Well, Drone continuing to try to press that north side. It's not working super well. That's a good point ah, being brought up. Thug in the... out! One oh, thug out, wow. another thug out. The outlaws are alone and dead, and the jack is in play, so Felon wow. can't do too much good. Beautiful. That, rogues, that however, was... rogues are being built, though, so Drone is on point. Rogues are definitely the right call here. It's, um, it was pointed out in the chat that these constructors uh, are actually dealing damage to the shields themselves. That's with true, the slow, the slow damage. damage. Yeah. It's a very subtle thing, not often... Uh, people aren't often aware of. But it does skew the match a bit more in favor of jump bots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, come to think of it, yeah, felons are useless. Shields are knocked out by the workers, even. Yeah. And... What else do you have? I guess roaches? Yeah, I don't know what this, how, what this matchup is like. I'm starting to think it might be a bit in favor of jump. Probably not that much. But still. Oh, man. It's a weird setup. This pirate's gonna catch these rogues out of position. This jack's trying to get up onto the hill. If that well, happens, then uh, good this luck, probably going to have to... If it gets on the hill, if it doesn't die first... Ah, I can see it getting up there. There we go. It jumps right in. Oh, yeah, in. right. Jumps. Going to scare away the commander Hi, here. The jump bot has jumping abilities. <laughs> I forgot about Look that. Look at that. Oh, I... no. This is a commander dive with a jack. That is... Wow. Wow. Beautiful. And they burst the commander to even it. kill the jack. The jack finally dies at the end, but... Excellent. I don't know what Joan has. Joan still has an economic advantage. Oh, that's true. There's still Drone an uphill fight for Gota. ahead. Mm. Yes, quite literally. <laughs> I didn't, Drone I didn't still has that center hill. That's right. Has the north and south hill, or not quite south hill yet. They're getting to that. The It'll north hill for sure. Easier for Gota to dislodge him, but Gota has had lots of opportunities to raid out Drone here from the south. Uh, I mean, the south is almost completely undefended, and once he gets yeah. in the back lines, those, those pirates could end the game. There's six down here to the south, and if they pretty much head over there, it'd be GG. And six. Uh, having... Six what? Uh, Six pyros down here oh, yeah, on the right, south? Yeah, yeah, right. Yes, there are. Right, and so, I mean, having just taken out that commander, release some pressure, and, and Gota has the opportunity Gota to sweep in here like is this. is to take advantage of that. He, he they should have, be. I mean, well, they know this, that the hill is taken. I mean, that's the sensible thing to do. They know the north has people, has stuff there. They know the center hill is taken. Right. The south is open. It's a very natural next move to move in here with these pyros. And that's exactly what they've done, and that's exactly what drones actually... Drones a few outlaws to deal with that. Not sure it'll be enough, though. Mm. Kind of doubt it. More outlaws coming in, though. Actually, well, they might. This is a weird matchup. Slow damage. Yeah. Well, it does certainly slow them down, and it does certainly make them all damaged. So that's one thing. <laughs> Lotus gets rid of yet another one, and then she slowed Pyro against Lotus. The Lotus should win one-on-one. -on -one. Wow. Hey, outlaws are doing something. Yeah, I mean, that was great. I was really Barely surprised by wow, how that worked. Win too. One on one huh. against Pyro, Outlaw wins. And then burns to death. Wow. But still, the amount of damage they deal. Because the Pyro's can't. A really weird matchup. Well, it looks like Drone still has the upper hand by far. I mean, they have the economic advantage. They don't have a military advantage, so they have to make sure not to die. But a large part wow. of that is these heavy units like Jax. I would agree that he has the advantage. I'm not sure I would agree with, with by far. I think that there's a lot of chances here for Goda to turn it around. But he needs to slip by on the edges and raid out the back, just like he's trying to do here with these pyros. 
Yeah, well, I'm really surprised by how well those allies worked to stop the pyro raid, though. That was. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before, honestly. Unfortunately, that. Oh, well, actually, the pyro kills itself by the metal extractor, apparently. <laughs> metal extractor explosions. They can kill you. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, now the Jack's gotten confused. Okay, that's. That's a weird behavior. It's just staring at the lotus, just going, What am I even doing? <laughs> what is my life even for? Oh, wait, shit, I'm getting killed. I gotta keep going. <laughs> Existential Jack. Should be the new Poland Ball. <laughs> the Existentialist Jack. Anyway. This is such a dynamic matchup. I'm, I'm like fascinated by the way that these uh, units are lining up together. Yeah, Look I at just... this. I, these mods are perfect for the outlaws. There's so many good answers from one fact to another between the two, you know? And there's a lot of unconventional ones, too. The Thug yeah. Law Felon Ball has not come up because, well, frankly, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But will work because they will stop the mods. Mm -hmm. And then the mods will get torn apart by... I mean, Bandits will actually tear apart the mods, too. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's a weird roundabout thing because you don't usually yeah. see these units. Yeah, exactly. Really interesting to see. I mean, I think at this point, drone is pretty solidly secured an advantage, but I mean, such a large military advantage for Coda. That's the two jacks. Just, it's yeah, the jacks. Yeah, that's a good point. But those jacks have been uh, working out really well for him. That's true. But it's 1,200 on the jacks and another 1,200 on the mods. Mm -hmm. So if the mods are knocked out and the jacks are killed, there's not much left. It's true. And there's only half a dozen pyros. And those aren't really in any position. Although Gold, Gold has actually started to take an economic advantage, I guess, through Reclaim. Hmm. Well, he's just about out of Reclaim. Oh, no, he's not up here on the north side, but uh, closer to his base. Yeah, we're going to have another Dirtbag versus Jack fight. I missed the first one, but yes. Dirtbag <laughs> pounding so on Jack, wacky. trying to kill them. I mean, on the one hand, it does stop the, dirt, the Jacks from moving after a while. They have to jump in order to keep moving. Oh. On the other hand, Dirtbags don't do much, if anything. Man, those jacks were damage. perfect for clearing out the central hill. Hill. And the racketeers really don't deal enough. They need more racketeers. Yeah. Like drone needs yeah, so many more racketeers in order to deal with this. Especially against a pair of jacks. Yeah, it looks like uh, Goda's just been building up a nice solid force. He's going to work to steamroll. This is uh, really interesting. Mm-hmm. Really varied composition as well. It's got moderators, pyros, and jacks. Like, you don't usually see all three out on the field at once. Well, you kind of have to in this case. I mean, the moderators oh, you need to deal with... Actually, no. Pyros and moderators you see a lot together. Because sure. if you, say, have a Cloaky versus Jump Bot Factory, then the Cloaky goes for Zeus, and you need the mods to deal with the Zeus. And now you see Inferno Ooh, nailing boy. the base. But yeah, you uh -oh. normally have the mods to deal with the Zeus, and then you'd have, like, Glaives to deal with the mods, and then you'd have... Jacks and placeholders to deal with the Zeus, help deal with the Zeus as well, and the Jacks also just because what can Cloaky do other than sharpshooter? So, I, don't know. I, I, I see it like, all the time. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I feel like um, Goda's trying to maybe force a base trade here, suicide into the factory, and then maybe win with his currently larger military. That would know. Be a, that's a great idea, actually. Oh, that's so dicey, though. Look at how many pyros he just lost to these LTs. Okay, in theory, it's a great idea. In, in sure. practice, it might be falling apart. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, well, I mean... It's all about the execution, right? Uh, yes, it is. And it looks like one jack is dead. The other two jacks seem okay. Hmm. But the factory's not dead. I mean, it's not like no. the factory's died. It's just that a couple of metal extractors were lost by the napalm bombs. Yeah. Or rather the inferno. Yeah, and drone has no real follow-up to actually take out that factory. So I feel like if these jacks went in to dive on the shield bot factory, wouldn't that put drone pretty much out of commission, at least for as long as yeah, it takes to rebuild the factory. Yeah, even getting the missile silo, I think, would probably put them out of, put them out of commission. Sure. They invested a fair amount in that. Uh, that was, yeah, I definitely didn't pay off. Not yet, anyway. No. It's, okay, now it's gone. It's really hard to find to make a missile silo pay off. Yeah. If you're trying to kill a factory, you kind of need two AOSs to do it. It takes like, a very a specific bomb. set of conditions. Yeah, like, later game when there's caretakers and you can burn them out, yeah. then it's worth it. Because mm -hmm. you can force excess. But an yes. early game like this, or in a game where on a map that's not really particularly economical? Mm -hmm. No, I don't really see that happening. If you can target their army and burn their army out, sure, but that's not going to happen against Jump Bot. Pyros no. don't burn and everything else is too strong. <laughs> I 
It won't burn up in time. Although, on the All other right. hand, possible comeback maneuver because there is a lot of reclaim. I was just going to say, things are pretty grim here for your drone at first glance, but 3,000 3, metal. <laughs> reclaim right here, just in the heart of his base. Although, two okay, missile silos coming from drone. I know. Oh, wow. Goat is building a silo of his own, yeah. Two. Two? Two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks, looks like he's only actually building the one, but yeah. Yeah. Two nanoframes here. Sure, why not? I mean, look at how, how many of this LT forest here around Drone's base. You're probably That's, not going to be able to... Oh, wow, yeah. A couple of Infernos would take that out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe some more Jacks would work, too. I don't know. Because there's so many LTs here at once that they can all focus. But uh, yeah, I don't that, know... But the missile what, style is kind of tricky because there's not a whole lot that Golda has at this point left. Mm -hmm. There's one Pyro, one Jack, the Commander, which is out of position, and upgraded only to Beam Laser. See, and it's a huge risk on Goda's part to be building the silo with all the reclaim here in Drone's base because that gives Drone the time that he needs to soak this up, rebuild Which some infrastructure. They are taken advantage of. And turn it into a military. So, I mean, this is, uh, this is a big risk. I'm not sure if uh, Goda's going to be able to make it pay off. Well, Maybe they have about th 30 seconds left. Yeah, that's going to be really tricky. 30 seconds left on building this thing. Not to Maybe. mention the cost of the, the missiles themselves. I think if he nukes the shield bot factory, then he might be able to seal it with that. Double AOS? Just, yeah. AOS, yeah. Should, uh, well, I don't know. It would shut down the production, but only for uh, just a few seconds until the factory was rebuilt again. Well, yeah, just for Inferno first to tear apart the caretakers, and then a couple AOS to tear apart the factory. Yeah. That yeah, you work. know what? That's perfect. Because then it won't rebuild that easily. Because mm -hmm. the workers will be dead. Yeah, we are seeing an Inferno first. In fact, Here just dead. Inferno's coming out so far. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Turn it around. There we go. Oh, doesn't quite hit the right point. Mm, Only one character yeah. dies. Although, the Lotuses are burning up, and that's going to be a bigger problem. That was, then, yeah, probably. What is... military follow-up? Yeah, I don't see anything. He has, like, one Jack, one Mod, one Pyro. So he's not going <clears> to... <throat> he won't even be able to get in there yeah. to apply pressure with them. But, and here we go. Okay, uh, that's better aimed. That's the Caretaker's nice. dead. Got in just in time oh, for that shield wow. uh, charged up. Yeah, I needed, wow. to, I needed to rotate the camera to double check because I couldn't tell. <laughs> was that above or was that below? And it's just below, but there's enough caretaker repair power that it doesn't matter that much. It's four caretakers, well, three caretakers. So even then, trying to smash it with that, yeah, I think the double AOS would be the best bet, even with that. Even hmm. with the fact that there are caretakers around. Although at this point now, there's the shield. Which is... Oh, it's got 2,000 health on it. Well, stops that attack. I think Gold is well aware that there are shields. They see the explosion didn't quite work out the way they'd like it to. And another Jack and Pyro. How many... Okay, how many of these units does Gold have? Two Pyros, one Moderator, one Jack. And that one of those Pyros is actually under production right now. Mm hmm. And Drone read an air switch. Not quite sure why, but... Hmm. Those Vandals. Not particularly useful, unfortunately. Maybe just trying to preempt it. That's what I'm thinking. That's I mean I think they read an air switch, but that but Golda went for the missile silo instead. Mm. I just didn't notice that before. Yeah, kind of uh, strange to see. Well, sort of. I mean the missile silo was the thing that was brought in everyone's mind now. I mean drone built one, so it's fresh in everybody's mind. Sure. While Air Factory hasn't been super popular this entire tournament. Yeah, that's why I meant it's strange to see the, the vandals come out before an actual air factory was spotted. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're just seeing Jack and Pyro from this point on pretty much. Stingers in the main base. Looks like drones basically hunkering down. Oh, absolutely. Although, this is how they lost the Fields of Isis game. Ah, yeah. it's a good point. So, I don't... I think this is what Golda wants. Yeah, Golda's being pretty aggressive with his commander here. I guess it makes sense since he doesn't have a very large military. Well, the commander yeah. is most of the military. Most of their military value comes from their commander. Yeah, so he really does have to support his constructors with it. Or just about most of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a bit more now from Jax and Pyros. That does I help. Don't, I don't think then. he needs to be focusing on the um, on this central southern position here with this Jack. I feel like he could just run around that and head into these rear metal extractors and it'd be more productive to raid out. Well, it's plus three off it. As opposed to plus 2.3 off of this one in the center. It's just about the same value, but the plus 2.3 in the center is more vulnerable. 
So I I agree with that decision actually. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's if they were all equally valued, I totally agree with you. Like the southeast would be so much more worth it as a target. Yeah, that's a good point. But as it stands, that's plus three total. It's like so. <laughs> I can't believe how much this game has calmed down for as uh, as aggressive as it was earlier on. Well, I guess drone can't move. <laughs> yeah, both players are very much licking their wounds. And uh, wow, Drone's rebuilding his silo. Again? Well, actually, they Again. don't have shields on them. So yeah, they... Oh, no, but never mind. I... Aegis for both players, because you would. Sure. Although, EMP missile, I think, might do the trick. I'm not totally sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it I would. think it would. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, 30,000 health. EMP missile followed... That's only 3,000 shields. EMP missile followed by anything else would do the trick. Yep. I don't see wow. anyone actually going for that, though. But if they did, that would be the one to go for. War of the silos here. Yeah, well, global thermonuclear war. <laughs> it's all fun and games until someone becomes a vaporized shadow on the wall. Although this isn't actually thermonuclear, is it? That's the silencer. Which no one has built yet, because they don't have 50 metal. <laughs> Inferno... Two Infernos. <sighs> no one's going to build a Shockley. Hmm? Yeah, no I guess not. No one's going to build a Shockley. <laughs> no one ever yeah. builds Shockley. Yeah, it's true. Only really see it in uh, Teams games. Really? Oh, okay. I'm just thinking because it would be the best option in this case. Mm -hmm. like, how yeah, are you I agree with, with you. Definitely. Get that shield down. Nuke out. I mean, either the factory or the silo at this point would be a good choice. So, like, all they're doing is setting the sky on fire. Which yeah. doesn't really do much. There were gunships, maybe? Because we know that it works on gunships. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It does hit them. It does burn them up. It's just still. It's Looks like Goto might be trying to swarm in here. Maybe just trying to get these jacks into position to jump into the base. But there's a stinger. There's a Stardust right here in front of the factory. I'm not sure they'd be able to do much damage even if they jumped there's in. There's two dozen dirt bags. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. Dozen. A felon coming up from drone. Really? Yeah, it was, it was already out. Option. It's right yeah. outside of his factory. I mean, do you think curious. he's going to push with it? I definitely want to push against the jacks it. with it. Yeah. I, I think it's like defense. He, it's just another turret. It would have to be, yeah. Or it looks, yeah, as you can see, very carefully trying to chain the shield to the Aegis. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it chained to the Aegis. Interesting. Because, okay, now they're pushing, but yeah, they don't want to push too much. Are they going to attack? Attack here. Attack. Yes, that's exactly what they're going to ah, attack. Ah, beautiful. That's where they need to go. Nice. Oh, Although, unfortunately, oh, jacks boy. are too powerful. Trying to bait them back into range with the stinger. That's definitely the right call. Yeah, it actually worked out nicely. Second felon is up. Oh, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to scratch my microphone. Wow, anyway, that yeah, was that's... a nice hold. That could have gone really badly, but uh, able to push that away. And dirtbag's flanking, for what it's worth. Sure. Making more unpassable regions. <laughs> yeah, and those all these hills that good luck getting past them. Which really hurts Drone more than it hurts Golda. Because Golda can jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jack over here trying to get rid of an outlaw, trying to kill off metal extractors. Raiding oh. with outlaws. Although, on the other hand, raiding with felons over to the north. Sure. So that's been broken. And there are yeah. convicts there, they're going to take it. So drone takes that north side. Uh oh. Yep. Double, triple felon. Oh wow. That's a lot of felons. I feel like he could use some more uh, supporting shield power now. Okay, actually pointing out that the dirtbags are actually trying to trap the commander who can't jump. That's a good point. Ah. Uh, but apparently yeah, that makes a, a lot of sense. Apparently in ninety one plus or ninety eight plus or ninety nine, you can't do that, <laughs> or can't easily do it. Oh weird. Scazi's pointing that out. Huh. And drone retaking the south side. Well, Con consolidating the north, sort of. Yet I another guess. turnaround, then. Getting an Aspis, just in case, just for that extra bit of shield power. Sure. And now I've got to deal with the Jacks with three felons. I don't see this going well. Mm, yep. It's definitely going to be the trickiest part. If that is Stardust to help out, maybe, or another. Like, Aspis is going to help out a lot. That's, maybe. that's the thing. They have the energy to support it, too, so that's very good. And an eraser. Oh, yeah, sneaky peeping uh -oh. turned to an eraser. Where are the roaches? Yep. Seriously, where are the roaches? Are there roaches yet? Did I miss anything? No, I, I didn't see, see any roaches. I think okay. we're all right. It's just the default open factory thing that started since 98. All right. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. 
Well, I hope we will get to see some that'd be uh, perfect for this felon ball that's building up right here outside the base. It's pretty much exactly what... There is the Shockley. There we go. Uh-oh. Of course, I wonder, is that thought of... Uh, I, that, was, that was the thought of that, but yeah, oh, there we go. Shocked it out. It penetrates shields beautiful. completely. Wow. Shocks the silo. Where is the, the follow-up? Oh, the follow-up's just being... No, the follow-up's there. Yeah. The Inferno is not being thrown. Oh, man. I don't know why they aren't throwing that follow-up Inferno. Uh -oh. These jacks jumping into this felon ball are going to take at least one of the felons out. Yeah, the dirtbag's trying to stop them, though. Not doing the oh, best job. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no. wow. These oh, wow. Jumped Flanked on all sides. Job. That was painful. Leaves thrown essentially with no military whatsoever. And there are the roaches. And there's... How much... Yeah, roaches. I mean, these jacks seconds. could uh, hang along for the right as well. Cloak these jacks on into the base. Jump into the couple oh, of factories. Oh, didn't time it right. Did you notice that? Oh, wow. The Shockley came in right before the napalm. Just the napalm missile has a lower trajectory. Ah, I so didn't it hit first. That. Weird. Subtle. Very yeah, subtle. Yeah, but that sucks. That sucks yeah. for drone. No joke. Look at this. This is a deadly looking uh, cloaky ball, isn't it? Five jacks following this <laughs> racer. I know. That's, that's quite the powerful cloaky bot thing there. Wow, a couple of roaches as well. Well, the roaches are the main thing. I mean, that's. Sure. Everything else can get in without being cloaked. The roaches, however. Sheesh. Yeah. But getting these jacks in while well, they're nice and cloaked with nothing here to defend against them, jumping in the factory, that's a game ender, right? It would have to. Yep. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. once they get Definitely. in there, they'll tell up this whole position. Like, Plus, the roaches there to help out. Remember, they deal 300 damage per second. Wow, that I means, didn't realize it was that high. Yeah. So that's like that, 1,500 damage per second between the five of them? Yeah, so it would be about three seconds. The factory would have Jeez. three seconds to live. Not to mention the pyros and the roaches. Oh, but Goat is actually e-stalling here. Oh, wow. The only thing the drone has going for them right now. Wow. Saving and grace. what the? Fires off an inferno probably right here to try and expose that, that's not an that inferno. eraser. Oh. That's an EOS. Ah. Trying to nuke out the... Uh, couple of jacks there then yeah but no that's that wasn't an inferno you could tell because it wasn't fire it didn't have orange smoke I and see. it had fins on it like big fins in the center yeah somehow Definitely. i've actually come to know what all the different missiles look like except quake <laughs> no one ever sure. no one ever builds quake i had to build a quake the other day i forget what i was playing some team's game i built quakes oh. technique the mo wow that's that is actually surprising yeah, it's definitely a niche usage, but uh, I guess it's neither here nor there. No, not in this particular game. Although, admittedly, it would actually be very handy for Golda. Just, well, sort of. Actually, I think it'd be more handy for Drone. Because they are having a hard time maneuvering now. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. An increasingly hard time maneuvering. But I don't see any easy way out of this. That's the thing. I think Golda has taken the economic advantage. They've taken the north again. They've broken the south. They've taken yeah. the center. They're reclaiming. They're reclaiming tons of stuff. Drones mm -hmm. used up the, re the three thousand reclaim they had from the last major attack they defended against. They don't have a lot of heavy units to work with. They lost the heavy units they had, and they have cloaked roaches to deal with, wherever they are. Plus, this military advantage is just in the back, just unbelievable. Yeah, ten times military advantage. That's yeah, a little high. Well, ten times by cost. Sure, but that's still a little high. I, I feel like Goda could just jump in here with the jacks and have ended the game. Plus, he has this huge force of pyros he could be heading in from the south with. Yeah. I think we're just re waiting for both players to realize that this is over. Pretty much, and then go on to game two. Mm -hmm. And then see if Drone has any chance of getting back in game two. Yeah, Drone figures it out. Okay. There we That's go. game. GG. Game one. No more energy spent on that one. Wow. That uh, was definitely a long game. On Cooper Hill. 26 minutes. That was probably the longest one I've ever seen on Cooper Hill. Pretty much. Certainly the longest one between competent players. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, Drona. Managing to actually outproduce Goda, it looks like. Okay, so one more choice for drone. Wow. That's drone's so, one last math choice. This is it, potentially match point, right? Yeah, match point for Golda. It's just drone gets one last map choice, because if drone wins, then Golda gets the map choice. 
Oh, yep, yep. So, Sure. Wow. Yeah. This is really not what I expected at all from this final. No, especially given the previous matches. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I, really I have thought Horus. It would be a... Yep. I have Horus. Wow. I, I totally understand. I would say sure. that is the best map. Drone says some macro, please. It's not just macro. Drone knows that map. Drone plays that map all the time. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. It's one of their favorite maps, so mm. I can totally see going for that. All right. All right. So we have game two of the absolute last grand finals, finals, final grand finals of the March. What a tournament it has been. Yeah, double a limb. Seem, I don't know if it's double a limb or just the players or what, but yeah, or the Raven buff or the Raven nerf. <laughs> I think it's the Raven nerf. Yeah, that's. I feel like that was a big part of it. I have I'm trying to think if I have seen an air switch this whole tournament. I can't think of one. Oh no, there was early on. You were there. It was gunship and air. Kind of jump between them. There was oh, okay. one yeah, early on that was that was a bunch In fact, of it was on this map, map wasn't yeah. it? Okay. Swiss versus Hawks, and then a bunch of That's Phoenixes right. thrown around. Huh. Oh yeah, there's been far fewer mass Raven changes. They just definitely. switch from Air Factory, get a dozen Ravens, smash everything. There's been one which, of those. Which was definitely a, a super common endgame um, in the public 1v1 scene for like the last, I don't know, since I started playing, easily oh, yeah. like nine months. But that, was, even that longer, happened sure. once. Yeah. That was which one, is nice to see. I can't remember which game it was actually now that I think about it, but I know it happened. It was a game where someone built like half a dozen ravens or something. Not very many ravens, but enough. Mm -hmm. They were able to get a couple kill, a couple of destructions, a couple commander kill, and I think maybe a factory kill, but it was maybe one game. And I might be just remembering something completely different. I, as far as I can tell, though, yeah, no one's really using ravens. That's, yeah. that's changed a lot. That's the main observation I was making. Yeah, it's uh, a lot more gunships than we usually see. Which I'm glad to see, because I like Yeah, I love it. I feel like gunships are... I don't know, the more entertaining factory to watch anyway. They're definitely the more engaging factory. Because yeah. planes, they rush in, they shoot a bunch of stuff, you have five seconds to try to deal with them, and then they go away. Mm -hmm. Whereas gunships, they go and they stay. And they don't move quickly enough that you don't you can't deal with them. And they deal with more ground forces. Like, more like glaives can fire at gunships, and puppies can fire at gunships. You just have a generally yeah. larger range of counters you can use. Yeah, there's more Soft interaction counters, between... The air and ground units, whereas with the uh, airplane factory, it's mostly A or um, really no interaction at all, except for units getting bombed out. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, so uh, hovercraft again from yeah, Golda. Yeah, hover, hover versus. Okay, this is what I expect. Hover from Golda. When Golda is on the back foot, or actually in the front foot in this case, but when Golda is in a position where they just they need to win, hovercraft. Although I nearly, think it's going to work out very well against Drone's Cloakies here, especially uh, in the Raider game. Yeah, Since I'm just thinking, because Golda, on the one hand, there's... Hmm. Golda has no way of getting around these hills. Oh, that's that's a good point. <laughs> that's uh could be a big problem, especially if he has to chase away a glaive coming over the crater or anything like that. Exactly. Yep, I didn't think about that. It's going to be a big advantage Drone will have. It'll be interesting to see if he puts it to use. I, I can see I it happening. I can see that, yeah. You know there what? are places really, you can stick them. He was really aggressive. Was it Drone that was playing on this map earlier? Yes, Drone versus Golda. Golda was, it was Drone the south. versus Golda. Okay. Yeah, Golda was in the thought. south. Drone was in the north. And Drone just kept going along every single side, going up hills, going around the back, going through the sides. It was just every single angle they could take, Drone took. Right. I expect that we'll see a lot more of that, too. I knew that this was Actually, familiar. Deja aren't. vu. We're seeing deja vu only because... It's blue versus red, top and bottom, but Drone's sure. the red player at the bottom now. Drone's the one getting attacked in multiple angles. Right, right. Drone's actually not sent out a whole lot of attacking forces. They're a bit too wary of the, those daggers, I guess. Yeah, we're seeing warriors already. It makes sense. One so far is Scythe coming up as well. So it looks like Drone just wants to stay away from the Raider game entirely, which, once again, makes very sense understandable. Given, yeah. Given the cool daggers. But then, of course, you get halberds on top of that, and maces as well, because maces, heck, even if you aren't using raiders, maces can be a threat. Mm -hmm. They're like warriors, yeah, assault units when they have to be. I feel like there's a lot of potential in these sides, though, for drone, especially if he can, like, you know, make a hit, run up into the hills where none of Goda's units can really chase him. 
regenerate and then come back and do the same thing again. Got to be careful though, because oh, those sure. daggers are patrolling. And it's such, not patrolling, but they're, you know, they're running around. Such a micro intensive strategy too, to be able to execute that reliably. Mm hmm. But it's only one unit. Mm hmm. The rest of it's just a matter of, well, warrior getting it into the rough proximity of a dagger. Sure. And with the glaives, well, moving forward essentially. Mm hmm. The scythe is the only thing needing microing, and there's actually not a lot of defenses. Gold has gotten a little lazy on the defenses, actually. There's one lotus. Well, scythe can take care of that. There's one defender. Well, a cloak scythe can run up to it and kill it. Even after being damaged by the lotus. I think. I'm totally sure, in fact. Mm. Let's work that out. 72 DPS on 785 health. And 143 DPS on 820 health. So yeah, they can be the lotus. They'd have half health left. There and we the go. defender would take like two shots, and I think the defender would die. No, actually, the defender wouldn't. The defender would get all three shots off, so I think the defender might just kill a scythe. But then I think scythes might. Oh, never mind. More than half health. So yeah, they'd live. They'd survive a defender. Nice. Unfortunately, drone not realizing what's going on. They're not moving their uh. scythe. So it gets to die. The glaives do a fair amount of damage, but the scythe was just left mm. alone, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's, I mean, potentially, uh, you know, can make great cost, but it's so intensive with, you have to just be right there with the micro. Yeah, and especially, wow. All these daggers. Oh boy. They can kill that warrior in one shot. Like one volley. And it doesn't even matter because the glaive is going around back. I mean, that scythe actually seems to have done a fair, fairly good job, despite the fact that it hasn't actually done much just by opening this area up. Yeah, just causing some Pulling disarray. back. They pull go back. That. Drone can now take the south side pretty well. Mm -hmm. And over to the north, these I mean these daggers are all bunched up again. I mean, okay, there's they're they're there now. But... Drone is definitely seizing this opportunity. He's moving some glaives out here into the center. Mm -hmm. One thing that's gonna be working to Drone's advantage is since he's going against hovercraft, he really only needs to fortify these bottlenecks. He doesn't have to worry about things slipping through the hills like you mentioned earlier, at least until there's some and sort of factory that's switch. What they're doing. Right. All right. these defenders so everywhere. It's just that's the very exact much plan. Oh, that was a gold, those are goldas. Never mind. Not not drones. Those are goldas. Oh, <laughs> drone hasn't actually done that. Sure. Well, he's put a stardust over here in this western bottle. That's true. Um, They've taken the choke points. Put the center, and we can see one. Uh, he's probably gonna be heading out to the eastern bottleneck as well pretty soon here. I would hope. They already he's have. Really There's already lotus down. There. Right. Yeah, and so like I was saying, it's gonna very much play into drones uh, natural play style, only having to fortify small parts of the map anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's the gunship switch coming up from Gota. Yep. Now, I'm guessing from here it's probably going to be Brawler. Brawler, yeah, that's what I would say I as well. I, don't, I mean, Rapier might come up because Rapier has kind of been a habitual thing for a lot of people now. Yeah, but, but I think he'll want Brawler, especially given Hover's lack of artillery. Well, I mean, I guess there's the Penetrator, but I think he'll want Brawler to try and clear these defenses they're building up, especially the LLTs, really easy to take out with a Brawler. Start us, too. Don't forget those. As well. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a big problem. Warriors, too, probably are pretty easy to well, uh, take out the on Brawler. Legs. I would imagine, yeah. Yeah, so definitely the right call, Brawlers, I think. Uh, not actually oh, using the factory quite yet. Look at the way, look at the way Gold has been handling those these particular daggers in the southeast. The mm. same way you'd use Glaives, except they can't go over the hill to attack. Yeah. They have to go back up through the area they came in, which means, at this point, with all the stuff there... Sort of blocked in. Yeah. Even if they make it out to the north, this whole bottleneck is uh, defended by like four warriors coming down. That's the problem. It's like, ah, so that's painful. It's one of the yeah. reasons why you don't see a lot of vehicle play on this map, despite its size, is you can't mm. do much. There's so many mm -hmm. dead ends you can get yourself chopped, you can get yourself just chopped to pieces in because you right. didn't have any way out. And look at this, a gunship switch from drone as well. So once again, no, uh, no yeah, airplanes. Switch. Yeah. So rapier from drone, no pro no surprise there. Nothing from Gulda, a bit of a surprise there. Yeah, very surprising. Usually people build factories in order to build units out of them. Usually not for <laughs> decoration, but I guess Golda has different plans. I think he built it for the uh, 0.3 metal it produces. Oh, right, yes, that 0.3 metal. <laughs> Definitely worth spending an entire minute on a building that you know has actual other functions for the 0.3 metal and 0.3 energy. But no, rapiers are in fact the choice. Oh, weird. Huh. So it looks like that is... Well, it's still not a bad choice. It's just not totally what I expected. I wonder what the thought process is there. Maybe against these riot units, he's looking to slow them down. Maybe hit and run. Yeah, the riot units, a, uh, definitely. And the thing is, warrior's range isn't that big. So mm -hmm. the rapiers can yeah. kind of avoid it. And the Zeus as well. 
also doesn't have a particularly large range, and you do want to slow that thing down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that makes sense to me. I can understand that. I really like these scalpels too against the warriors. I think they're going to uh, clean them up pretty nicely. Well, I'm a bit surprised scalpels weren't built sooner. Yeah, given how early we saw the warriors. Yeah, I agree. It was just in general too on a map like this. Yeah, it's a larger map, so raiders come up, but given how few glaives there were to begin with. Mm -hmm. Not just how early we saw warriors, but how few units that were up. Which I suppose suggests warriors or rockos, but either way. Sure. And rapier wars. <laughs> it's just... Will that... Well, it looks like gold is actually going to... Oh, no, they're not going to take it. Oh, they can focus fire. They have two rapiers they can easily take out. They have. They focus a bit further. They can take out a third one, but now tridents to... Okay, yeah, they get support. shoot away by those tridents there. But they're playing hovercraft. Yeah. Flails. Yep. Never forget the flail. Or scalpel, apparently. Yeah, it's an anti, anti gunship well, anyway. That's true, yeah, because scalpels do hit air, they just don't hit aircraft. I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's perfect. Although, to be fair, if you're running against, actually, on, on Finn's Revenge, and you're playing against someone who goes for a big gunship start with Brawler, and you go for flail, you'll win. So, yeah, true. <laughs> that hasn't happened to me in about a year or so, but I did win. <laughs> it did work. Oh yeah, and of course daggers. The daggers could help. <laughs> Not that they can deal sure. all that much damage, but yeah, they can help. Deal enough damage. <laughs> and there is the flail. Causing that to crash. Beautiful. Wow, is that a splash damage? Oh. Nice. Oh, well, yeah, it does. Well, I guess so. Nice. It's cool. For east side, we have the scalpels setting everything up. In the center, we have scalpels chasing everything down. Scalpels everywhere, and the glaives to counter them. Now, where are the maces or the daggers? Either one would work. Yeah, wow, just a really scalpel-heavy build so far. And a lot of rapiers as well. Hmm. Daggers coming out. Hmm. I'm not sure how good is going to break down these lines, though. I mean, drones had enough time now that uh, all these approaches are really well fortified. That's true. This is where the brawler would really come in. Yeah. But there's none left, or none coming. But I feel like now with the tridents, uh, there's even gremlins coming out, and the rapiers as well, that a, a brawler wouldn't be, wouldn't be as feasible. <laughs> yeah, penetrator. That, yeah, I think a penetrator is the right call, isn't it? I mean, I you need some so. sort of already Oh, wow. Did, that, did you notice that? The rapier on the east side fired off one last missile to kill its killer right at the end as it was dying. I did not realize they could do that. <laughs> I didn't realize that either. That's awesome. I, I, that was weird. Handy, but... Unexpected. I didn't know that was a thing. Wow, can you believe how... Oh, I guess it's not as neck and neck as I thought, but uh, when I was looking, it was right about 60 to 60 metal production for both players. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's closer to 50, 65 now. Yeah. Yeah, they, they shoot missiles while they're crashing. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting to note. And daggers around the back, but once again, can't go over the hills, so it's really yeah. hard to do much. And they're not going to make it through these bottlenecks, so I no, feel like the daggers are back. Bunch not, of suicide not terribly useful. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Gota has to switch here, right? This is such a fortified position from Drone. How's he going to get through? Well, the scalpels are a good idea. The scalpels do a fine job. It's sure. just... Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slog. That's the only problem. Yeah, definitely a slog. The rapiers, however, they have a lot of potential to go around and deal with some of the lighter defenses. Like These defenders over here in the west side of the map, the rapiers can tear them to shreds. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think uh, maybe Goto would have a chance just moving down the west side of the map in general. Yeah, there's not. Well, right now, in yeah, the, this exact moment. In his back, yeah. Quick about it. I mean, if he could do it without getting picked up on radar and all that, but I feel like if there's any avenue, it's that western flank. Well, they be picked up on radar wherever they go. Doesn't matter where they go. Drone has radar everywhere. Sure. They have a good. They have a good sense of what's going on. They know what's happening. However, it's still pretty close. I mean, Golda does have the military advantage. Economic... The economic advantage kind of swings back and forth. It's probably more yeah. solidly in Drone's favor. So there is that. But it's very entrenched, and I don't... I don't see any clear way for Drone to break through quite yet, anyway. Well, yeah, and Golda's starting to break through the east side, just slowly but surely, taking on metal extractor after metal extractor. Slowly, but surely. 
Bring it down. Well, there's quite a bit of artillery out here from the east. Or, yeah. Uh, to the east for drone. Maybe That's we'll be able to die. grind through. That's going to die real fast. And the scalpel's yeah. the biggest threat here. Oh, the dagger's going to help too, but the dagger's going to get torn apart by the defenders. Yeah. I feel like once you poke in that many daggers, you lose so many to the defenders, you should just commit to try and clear out the rest of the nest. Well, you have the uh, couple of seconds. Yeah, especially with down. scalpels. Because the scalpels, yeah. really, you don't want to lose those. I don't really see any point in uh, poking in your daggers, losing half of them to the defender salvo, and then not destroying the defenders, you know? Mm hmm. But the rapier is coming in as the anti here goes over to the west side of the map, completely the wrong direction mm. because the brawler oh. is distracting them. Mm -hmm. Golda mm -hmm. just pushing that in there, pulling Golda's attention or pulling drone's attention aside in order to be able to better oh. take out the east side of the map. Boy, this is a pretty big Very opening clever. here from the central and east side of the map. Yeah, I think these these daggers are doomed. But if he can scoot the rapiers along, just uh, maybe give them the slip. I think they can get in here uncontested and really mess up the economy. No, it looks like they'll just be assisting the daggers instead. Well, ah. yeah, but at the same time, the west side of the map, everything's focused on that brawler, which hasn't even yeah. died. Not even close. But I feel like Gota's sort of breaking his sword against Drone's shield here by losing so many units to these uh, defenders. And now the Trident's right here to yeah, clean up all the rapiers as well. Yeah, gone back in position. Yeah. Although the Trident's moving away from position again. Oh, look at this Halberds. And the Halberds, they've been there Halberds. for a while. So That was definitely the right answer. I didn't even see them. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay, so I thought you had. That's... wasn't pointing them out because they're kind of right there. <laughs> oh, no, he, I, friendly fire. I think he should have just masked halberds to break through this and then come in with the follow-up force of rapiers and scalpels. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. I wouldn't have stopped at five anyway. I would have kept building. There's so much pork here. But it looks like they are relying on the trines being out of position once again. Getting in as well. And the brawlers are there, but brawlers, we do know, can hit air. And there's enough scalpels and so forth to deal with this. So the east side is basically gorgeous. The base, however, hard yeah. to say. Gota's commander... Gota's under a lot of pressure here. But a lot of air pressures. A lot of... Not a whole lot on the ground. The scalpels can just sort of dodge Ravager shots and... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just tear In fact, I would everything. try and just run around with the Ravagers, not not engage the scalpels at all, because you're right. That is a losing fight for the Ravs. But, uh... Mm. Oh, boy. I don't and know. Ravagers over in the southeast. They actually can now go over to the center. Yeah. In the southeast. Gota's, Gota's holding this reasonably well. Uh, looks like there's not much A left on the field for drones, so these Ravagers... Are in a great position to uh, deal a lot of damage here. Look at that. They've just cleared out the east side of the map. Uh, wow. The, I thought that part the was tridents? impenetrable. Did the Tridents get torn apart while we weren't looking? Uh, Yeah, here and there. I think they might have gone to chase those brawlers up to the north and then got taken apart by the yeah, scalpels. Oh, and some of them went over to the south as well. Actually, no. Oh. They're all going over to the southeast. That's what it is. Ah, uh, I see. Yep. But yeah, they were well, too late. Sense. Golden <laughs> took out that entire economy. Damage has been done, and on yeah. the western side is pretty heavily and damaged, now, too. Look at Gota's economic advantage. Oh. Uh, see, I spoke no, it's still a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> he was, I, I promise he was reclaiming or something. It said 70. It did, yeah, for about, a, for about half a second. That was uh, the I, thing. I'm not crazy. But, uh, I mean, that was that was profitable, right? For Gota? And down yeah. this eastern side? As long as he can keep Drone from rebuilding, getting all the reclaim that's there, or at least uh, scoop up as much of it as possible for himself. Which, I feel like it was a good idea. Whoa. Well, they're sort of doing, but. Do you see much. how much reclaim is there? It's like 5,000 just in this little eastern pocket. See, 1,000 in that corner. Oh, yeah, wow, and that's already being taken. Wow, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty solidly Gotas, I think. I don't know if it's that solidly. The Tridents might break it. Okay, never mind. It's There's nothing assaulting at the moment. The level is going to be coming in a bit later, but not much else. Everything is anti-air. <laughs> and the east western side of the map, it's all defenders. Definitely a uh, slow defender creep going on there from the west side. There is, but I'm not sure what Drone has in mind to break through this and actually take the game. Yeah. At this point, it seems like Drone is just playing a holding pattern. They're trying to hold... They're trying to... What's the holding pattern? They are trying to defend just as long as they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. I don't really see him developing any sort of, like, you know, game-ending moves here. Goda, on the other hand, has been massing brawlers and uh, rapiers, so mm -hmm. if he can build enough to overcome the AA that he'll encounter for resistance, I think he can steamroll the factories here. Yeah, because the thing is, I almost, I know it sounds silly, but I think almost drones should have considered a silencer. I know it sounds silly, but they have no, no, like no. 50, 60 metal, and they have enough I units agree. that they can stop them. 100%. So, five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's, I think there's totally enough metal on the field at this point to justify a silencer as a game ender. Yeah, I mean, just, just look at how much Gota has in his military alone. Exactly. So yeah. just five minutes, you nuke their base and destroy it. Mm-hmm. 
And then that no, opens I things up. But a Strider Hub for no oh, Strider Hub for gold. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, that's defensible too. I'd agree with that. Mm, but for drone, see. I don't know. There's nothing really being built up. No Strider Hub. No Silencer. No Bertha. Or Behemoth yeah, it's or almost like it's almost like these defenders were his end game. You know, it's, I, I really haven't seen him doing much differently. Yeah, they must have gotten sort of really tired after all these matches. You know what? That could definitely be it. I've only been commentating for a few, and I'm already like. I'm ready to. I'm ready to go to sleep as soon as this is done. Well, so to be fair, we're also talking. We're it's what six a.m. No, eight a.m. for us. Having it's gone up at now. three. That's right. Good morning. Hey. What's uh? It's gone. <laughs> My the stream title actually makes sense now. But so yeah, like we were saying, I mean, it's it's really easy to um to forget as a spectator how fatiguing it can be to play so many games in a row. Mm -hmm. And these aren't just like casual, even with that rest period. Yeah, and these aren't just casual public games, you know, against random nubs in the room. This is uh, against the top players in the community, so easily can take a toll on you, and you can start to run out of ideas, yeah. get some mental fatigue. I think that's a bit of what we're seeing here from yeah. Drone at this point. Also, Sprang, it's not so much a matter of Silencer making cost. The point of the Silencer would be to essentially cut off Golda from any reinforcement ability long enough for you to be able to tear them apart with other units. Yeah. So the nuke itself isn't there to make cost. The nuke itself is to stem the tide. To win the game. Yeah, so you actually have a chance of breaking through all this economy and military. So when you do that, you don't have to worry about more military coming after you. Because mm -hmm. it's already been destroyed. Well, this, uh... But, yeah. Pretty large commitment here from Gota as he pushes in along the eastern side. They can get away with this, though. Oh, I, I yeah, think absolutely. even if they lose all these rapiers and everything in here, they're going to get away with it. Wow, they Brawler's have... coming in for backup as well. Just needs to keep the rapiers alive long enough to push away these tridents so that these brawlers can basically do the steamrolling. That actually, combined no, with the scalpels? I'm wrong. No, if they do lose this, they, they actually are in a really bad position. Never mind. This is their sure, army. Sure. So I was wrong. Yeah, yeah well, you just have to be careful with it, but I think he's in a position here that he can win this engagement. And I think winning this engagement could win him the game. Well, I don't I don't see drone winning this. I mean darts oh nice idea. Darts Good thinking. Yeah. Get enough of those this out. Play out. Get your half daggers out, and that's perfect. Because <laughs> that is what they are. I'm sure I've mentioned it. Bob, I mentioned it. I don't know if you've you saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I watch them all, man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I watch your stuff too. So anyway, self congratulations aside. Yeah, <laughs> half a dagger. Yeah, and it's going to be perfect for wasting the salvos too. That's the bigger thing, too. That's the, that's the biggest thing, really. Because mm. it was a like 10-minute reload time? Or eight, no, 8-second reload time. 10-minute reload time. 10-second <laughs> reload time. Yes. But yeah, it's uh, definitely a long reload time. Looks like he's getting pushed back here. I wonder why these rapiers retreated. It doesn't look like there's... Oh, I, I see. The tridents have been distracted over to the west, so the rapiers are coming back in. Yeah, well, that's what Gold has been doing. He's been trying to break them open by forcing them over to getting out of position. They have mm. to deal with the brawler. But yep. they also have to deal with the rapier. Like, yeah, well, what do you deal with? Really nice having two credible threats from Gota. He can sort of apply pressure to one to relieve pressure from the other. Really mm -hmm. nice system here. And it looks like a Dante on its way up here out of the Strider Hub from Gota. Yep. So I. Two so we definitely have a uh, clear end game. Oh, there's actually a Strider Hub up from Drone. Doesn't oh, okay. look like there we go. Actually there's... being used at the moment though. Well, Drone just is as a one caretaker. Yeah. Well, probably. Pretty quick, I'd expect. I expect a Scorpion or a Dante. I don't see any of the others being used. Not at this stage. I think Goda's Dante is a finisher. That's the idea, it, yeah. Yeah, I think it has enough uh, power to break through these defenses. Scalpels and rapiers behind it. I don't think there'd be very much left to do. Yeah, Scalpels and Rapiers being a tough combo. More darts coming in from Drone, trying to deal with that, but unfortunately the splash damage is tearing them apart. It's like they're taking the Scalpels, but they're not spreading out. So it's not worth it. Man, this is such a slugfest, though. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of Rapiers went down. And the Brawlers... Are, actually, the Rapiers and Brawlers are in the same position. Where are those Tridents? No, really, where are the tridents? Are they yeah, dead? I can't. I can't find them either. They must have gone down. They must have been cleared out by that? these rapiers. Probably. So, okay, and the darts. Scalpels. Ah, this darts and glaives are still not in a good enough position. The glaives are fine. The darts, not so much. Yeah. And the I don't darts know how, get stuck in a line. 
I don't think I don't know how heavily I would invest in strategy. There's two thousand metal just in darts and uh, darts and yeah. blades at the moment, and that's just this one set. It made sense in that one particular situation, like while he was under you know in dire straits with the scalpels knocking at his door, but. To commit to it for a few minutes solidly like he has and build up a huge mass of them i mean they're just i don't know i don't know maybe it'll pay off right here oh there we go so i have no idea what i'm talking about well there we go okay no it's, they just made sure they weren't in a line that was the only problem they were getting in a line they were getting splashed out drone managed huh. to get away from that we fixed that so that's all they needed to do yep well and they did it there you go wow the center is completely broken open now neither player has it Neither player can. But mm -hmm. maces are up, and that's going to stop this entire push. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Dante's been gold. working its way down the west side now. Actually down to about half health, but look at all the defenses it cleared out. Um, mm -hmm. I think it blew open a bit of a hole, but if it heads down through the center with the support of these scallops behind it, plus the rapiers and the cons, um, I mean, it's just a hop, that's, skip, and a jump down at these yeah. factories. And retaliatory Dante from, from drone. Yeah. Yep, solid call. Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing, and actually it was a big thing in another game I cast with Drone, that big, that 70 minute game, the one with Flistip, is mm -hmm. Drone doesn't preserve the units as well as a lot of other players do. That's their biggest weakness, is unit preservation. Interesting. Yeah, they're really good at getting economy, but they have a tendency to burn that economy, like they, they make units, but they don't necessarily make the units make cost, mm -hmm. and they tend to lose a lot of units. I see. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a huge amount. Like in, in that one game, it was like 1,800 to 1,600. Mm. But still, it's a 200 unit difference. Sure. Over a 70 minute game, that was a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was. Like, that's the thing, and we're seeing it here too. Like, Drone has had an economic advantage this entire game, and yet the military has steadily gotten worse and worse. Wow. Like, wow, there, hasn't been this... a, there has been almost no moment in this game where Drone has been behind economically. Yeah, it's true. There's always been at least 10 metal. Oh. Here's the uh, Dante and just crossing along. Base. It's a weakness Ooh. if you're losing games as a result of it. Yep, it's true. Like, I'm not saying it's a weakness because I'm super micro player who thinks that micro is the, all the way to go. I mean, yes, I do tend to focus on micro a bit too much, but that's not why I'm saying it's a weakness. I'm saying it's a weakness because Drone has a tendency to lose games where they've already they've been ahead economically and yet still lost because their military didn't keep up because they lost military. Whereas people like Golda and Clone are really good at keeping their military alive. Well, I think this just about does it for this game. I think it just about does it for this tournament. I think Golda has managed to pull off the run back. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. No, this is a total run back. Yeah, this is it. This is just cleanup. Oh I don't see any way that drone has to get out of this. That was so unexpected. So yeah, it was. I was. I know. I was thinking that would be an easy 2-0 for drone. It'd be just yeah. You now the first series would be done. That's it. Nope. Wow. No, it wasn't. It was in fact a slog out 4-0. Golda did win. In fact, those four games Golda needed to win in order to win this tournament. Congratulations, Golda, for taking first place. And 4-0 nonetheless, man. Also, excellent. Job. Retake. If you notice the Ella ratings, oh, retaking no first place on the ladder. Oh wow. It was kind of funny because I mentioned to Golda, I was in that match that Drone gloated about having gotten first place in the ladder. I was like, <laughs> yes, no, I am king. And it's like, well, Golda, you can always play the tournament. See what happens there. Definitely redeemed himself. <laughs> Duh. I wasn't even thinking maybe you'll redeem yourself. I just thought, man, Golda, you should play in this tournament. Seriously, that'd be great to have you here. Yeah. And it was like, all right, fine, I'll play. Not bad for a last minute sub in. Yeah, really. That was well <laughs> done. That was extremely well done. So that is it. Like, that's totally it. They, that's it. Yeah, the we're all done. Tournament's over. All out five and a half hours, games. which is comparable to Woo. a single limb tournament. But people seem to have more fun. I really like this. Hopefully, next time we'll see uh, more novices sign up. You guys, don't be shy. No one, no one's yeah. gonna think any less of you. you. Get knocked out the first round. I get knocked out first round every tournament I play. We're gonna in, think so. more of you for signing up in the first place. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, that's so the only thing we're gonna change our opinion of you is, oh, you're somebody. Because you oh, signed up. I remember actually, who you are. Give it a shot and uh, try to have some fun. Like, that's something to look up to. But anyway, man, I'm uh, starting to ramble. Yeah, so anyway, should, uh, this is it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Kane, for, for, for joining me for man. casting. You're welcome. Yeah, you bet. It was definitely interesting. 
<laughs> and that will be that will be it. So bye everyone. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for watching and have a good night everybody. Later guys. I'm so formal, aren't I? <laughs>